Hello everybody, this is Rachel aka the Queen of Coins and we are getting ready to play a brand new release called The Testament of Sherlock Holmes and this was a um, pretty much all systems release. It came out on the PS3, the Xbox 360 and also for PC. Um, you could download it on Steam or a uh, different couple other places from GameStop, stuff like that. Um, anyway, we're going to play it on the Xbox 360 and uh, let's go ahead and get started. I have no idea what to expect from this game. Whitechapel is notably best known for being the location of the infamous Jack the Ripper. Okay. I hope it's, uh, hope it's entertaining though. <laughs> I actually read someone someone wrote a comment on like GameStop and they were like I can't wait to play this game because I love the movies I'm like oh my god the movies with Robert Downey Jr. like yeah those were good movies but I mean <laughs> that's not like a real Sherlock Holmes you know what I mean <laughs> that was funny I did like I did like the Robert Downey Jr. movies though they were good Oh my god, how much you want to bet this little girl's like a murderer? <gasps> She's gonna kill her little friend with pigtails. Why do they both have pigtails? Is that her? Here's the dumb one. Look at him. Yeah. Used to be a Dennis Leary joke about his kid like running around him doing that for like 20 minutes. He'd get so pissed off. <laughs> it's Sherlock Holmes and Watson. This kid is stupid. Oh my god, he looks stupid. Ooh. Do these kids speak at all or do they just make noises at each other? Ah! Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh! Maybe it's a book about pirates with a treasure map. Oh my god, they're all stupid. The two toe heads no, are idiots. So. Look at those faces. Oh my god. Oh, girl, it's creepy. I wish that I had seen through all your lies. Oh, start from the beginning, not the middle. <laughs> and so I decided to pick up my pen to relate the most disturbing episode of my life this far. It all began early one morning in 1898 when Sherlock Holmes invited me to accompany him on a visit to the Marquis of Conningham. Hmm. Said Sherlock. Watson, my dear fellow, we can now go and inform the Marquis that we have found the Samoan necklace and very much faster than Inspector Baines, too. The Marquis. Have you really solved the theft, Holmes? And so quickly? I have indeed, Watson. And believe me, it was completely unnecessary to spread out all over London as our friend Baines thought was best. He likes to boast that his methods are equal to mine, but once again the outcome has contradicted him. <laughs> After all these years of accompanying you upon your investigations, I thought that by now I should be reasonably capable of following your train of thought. But in this particular case, I must admit that I don't understand anything at all. Ah, you Poor see, Watson. but you do not observe, Watson. There lies the difference. It is a matter of course. A matter of course? In the middle of the night, when everyone is fast asleep, the service bell within that room rings out and alerts the servants. They dress quickly and come running. But the door is locked and there is a strong smell of burning from within. What? A few seconds later, the master of the house himself, the robbed marchioness's husband, the Marquis of Conningham, arrives and unlocks the door. 
using the soul key. A fire has started inside the room, but they have managed to arrive in time to put it out. It is at that moment that the Marquis realizes that the famous Samoa necklace, which had been safe within its glass cabinet only a few hours earlier, has now disappeared. Oh my god. In order to explain, let us confirm my theory. Rich people problems. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? You control Sherlock Holmes, really? Is that who I'm playing in this game? Am I playing Sherlock Holmes? To walk in the desired direction, use the left stick. Okay. Sounds simple enough. Look at the broken showcase and press A. Okay. Ha. This window was cut with a diamond. A clean, discreet piece of work. This is where the necklace was. See how tiny the hole is and not one fingerprint upon the window. Ooh. What do you think? You always interact with A. After clues examined, the icon will turn green. Please make sure it comes in the left window. You should see two clue icons simultaneously. This window was... See how tiny the hole is and not... What did he say? This window was cut with a diamond. A clean, discreet piece of... See oh, how okay. They use like a diamond... A diamond cutter to do it. To enter examination mode with multi-zone, press A. You can switch cursor between items by using L. Look at both clues now. Oh, I see. So you can switch between each one. A mark undoubtedly made by a diamond. Someone tried to cut the glass, but he was interrupted. Huh. Therefore, the thief tried to escape through the window, but he was interrupted. Thank you, Watson. I just said that, didn't I? Didn't I just say he was interrupted? All the windows are locked. They've not been forced. Oh, Watson. You kill me. All the windows are locked. They've not been forced. Okay. Go to the chimney. You'll see the hand icon on the magnifying glass. Take it by pressing A. Aha. Always examine or activate any of your items in inventory by pressing Y. Oh, what do I have here? Matches, pocket knife, magnifying glass. Okay, so this tells us everything. Not sure what that is yet, or that, and some kind of menu. Near the piano, some music scores are on the floor. You can activate an item by selecting your inventory directly in the game. Use a magnifying glass on the scores near the piano. Oh, I see. So I can use the matches, the knife. He has a hard time walking for some reason. I'm not sure why. Aha. Let us examine the crumpled scores that have fallen off the piano. Look for clues. Okay. Aha. Is that a handprint? A tiny handprint? These sooty prints were left by a tiny hand. <laughs> That's what I, I don't said. understand why these music scores are covered with soot. That's what I said, though. Because that's a little hand. To switch the first person or change camera views, press X. Oh, okay. Now we're in first person view. Make your camera move faster, press right trigger. Okay? Pressing left trigger, you can you activate Sherlock Holmes' sixth sense. It'll show you a hint not discovered yet. Oh, look at that. You can now search for other clues in the room. What do we have here? Aha. These documents are not very interesting, even though they're addressed to the Minister of Maritime Affairs. The Marquis himself. The Marquis himself.
handle, it must have fallen from the chandelier. Mm -hmm. Not very well kept, this aquarium. I can see a dead fish floating on the surface. Yeah, pretty aquarium. Pictures on the wall. Where did my magnifying glass go? It's gone. Um, there we go. Want to get out of first person view? This draft screen makes an ideal hiding place. Uh -huh. As the theft was committed at night, I conclude that the thief hid himself behind the draft screen and waited until he was alone in the room. Strange. What do have down here? There aren't any prints, yet I'm sure that the thief hid here. How do you know that, Holmes? How do you know that, Holmes? Strange. Okay, we already got that. I don't know where my magnifying glass went to. Guess we don't need it anymore, but it's kind of weird. Okay, Watson. Look there. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff to look at here. Heading towards his chosen escape route, probably the window, the thief knocked over the stool, which then caught fire. But why didn't he try to put the fire out at once? Who knows, buddy? Footprints! You are not going to get on your knees to examine them. There is no need. It is soot. The servants must have trodden in it while they were putting out the fire. Strange. There are some objects here that have been knocked over. Mm -hmm. The fire started here, just beneath the bell pull. Whoever pulled the cord would have had his feet in the fire, unless it was pulled before the fire started. Interesting. The chest wasn't opened. The necklace wasn't in it. All the windows are locked. They've not been forced. Okay. I think we may have gotten everything. What do you think, Holmes? Let us search the room before the police get here. We might throw some light onto all this. Is that a clue he was giving me? A candle. When the servants arrived at the door, having been alerted by the bell, they saw evidence of the theft and the fire, but they didn't see the thief. This door is very hard to force. The Marquis is the only person to have the key. The thief could not get out through here until eventually when the door was opened by the servants. Got ah, everything. Mr. Holmes, you're already here. Good morning, Inspector. You've arrived just in time. <laughs> Scotland Yard arrives like the cavalry, <laughs> always in the nick of time. Ah, but I know that satisfied expression, Mr. Holmes. Have you already solved the case? You know it. It's possible. We have retraced the thief's rather unusual footsteps. He is a true acrobat. But what I cannot understand is that when the servants entered the room, there was no one to be seen. Mm -hmm. An acrobat, perhaps, but an invisible one? <laughs> I do not think so. The only explanation is that the thief escaped before the servants arrived. I don't know how, but there is no other way.